Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Sabre 27 BHD fifth wheel. This particular model is in the Espresso interior. This is a great bunk model, has a lot of uh, cool features that Sabre has put into their units. They've had an all new relaunch. Uh, I did a video earlier when we were down at the Louisville show, and this is one of those units that they have come out with. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and start right up here in the kitchen and we'll take a look. So you'll notice they did go ahead and give you a little area for your shoes right there. So that way as soon as you come in, take off your flip-flops, stow them away there, they are out of the way. You have the nice seamless countertops all the way throughout here in the kitchen. Um, you know, and it's not a huge countertop space, but they do give you ample prep surface by giving you both the sink top cover as well as the cooktop cover here. You do notice the high rise industrial looking faucet, which is quite nice. And if you take the sink top cover out, you will see they have a single bowl undermount sink, quite large, which is great if you have bigger pots and pans, makes it a lot easier to do dishes there. Uh, this, of course, does fold right up. Uh, it's nice and easy, just like that. Kind of creates almost like a secondary backsplash there. The cooktop itself is recessed, of course, so that cover, again, can help provide countertop space. Now, underneath the cooktop, you have an oven if you want to do some baking there. Then underneath the sink, you will notice they did give you enough space for a trash can. In fact, they even provided one there for you. And also, you have two full extension ball bearing drawers down below here. So that way you have a place to put your silverware as well as all your other utensils like your spatula, serving spoons, uh, things like that. If you take a look right up top here, uh, you will notice that you have good space up there. So, uh, you know, if you want to use that for food, you can, or of course, for your dishes. Great space there. Underneath, you will see that you have two LED lights in here. Most manufacturers only put in one. They put in two, so it's nice and bright. And an electrical outlet right up front here in case you need to plug in uh, you know, any other appliance like a toaster, coffee maker, something like that. Window here, of course, to let in some natural light during the day. And it gives you a shot out to your campsite. You have a stainless steel hood right here with the light and fan. Up above is your microwave. You can see the shipping weight on this unit is 8,800 pounds, not too terrible. And then right up above that, you have some extra storage. They have the nice decorative fluted glass on here too. Uh, as you make your way a little bit further into the kitchen, right up top, you'll see some additional storage there. A little bit higher, you'll probably want a step stool unless you're a really tall person to get up there, but you know, at least they did utilize that space. And then right underneath here is the high sense refrigerator. This is excellent, beautiful, residential stainless steel refrigerator. You open it up, you can see you have great room there. It's also nice and bright. And then underneath, you have not one, but you actually have two freezer drawers. So great freezer space in here as well. And as we move over a little bit more, um, you get into the entertainment area. Now up top, you can see you again have some additional storage up there. Same thing as uh, noted above the refrigerator. It's a little bit taller storage, but still fairly easy to get to. Right here's your multimedia center. This is a radio, CD, and DVD player. This is connected to your TV. So if you want to watch a movie, just go ahead and pop it right in. Now underneath though, you have massive storage. Take a look at this. I mean, you wanna talk about storage under an entertainment center, this is huge. Plenty of room for board games, blankets, pillows, whatever else you wanna put in there, you have the room to do it, which is great. Now as we come around to the back, we get into the bunks. One of the things I do wanna mention is this right here. You'll notice that both the bunks have USB ports. Uh, you know, high output USB ports, you'll see these a lot throughout the Sabre line which is really nice, you know, going forward with a lot more, a lot newer electronics, you know, a lot more people have a cell phone starting in a lot younger age. So having these by the bunks is pretty beneficial. Uh, when you come in here, you'll notice some storage underneath, great spot for either a dirty uh, clothes hamper or duffel bag. The bunks themselves are pretty big, 300 pound limit there. You'll see you have a window up top and on the bottom, cubby holes on both two, LED lights, and you also have electrical outlets in there. So if you need to plug anything else in, you have the outlet on both the top and the bottom. Right back here is great storage for the kids. You see a shelf there down below, hanging rod up top for any clothes that you wanna hang up. 
Now right across the way from the TV, this is really cool. This is some great theater seating. Uh, Saber coins it the Cinemax seating, and it has some really cool features. So as you'll see, you have the under lighting on here as well as the cup holder, but the controls for it are right here in the cup holder itself. So you can go ahead and turn that light off if you want, but more importantly, this has heat and it has massage which is awesome. So if you really wanna you know, talk about sitting down, relaxing, this is the way to do it. It gets you nice and toasty if you want, and that massage was great along the back, couple different modes, definitely something you have to check out and try for yourself. Uh, some cup holders right here, and then in the center, some extra storage for your remotes. Uh, you have big windows all the way around to let in a lot of natural light. I like to have you know, the wood tops on here, it gives it a nice classy look. Also, they are roller shades. Uh, I love having roller shades in a coach. They just work a heck of a lot better. They're nice and easy to roll up and down. LED lights here throughout, as you can see, which is great. Um, right here is your dinette. So good size dinette, plenty big for everyone to sit in here. Now this does drop down into a bed as well. So if you have additional guests that need to stay the night, you just remove these two posts. The table will sit right along these rails. You can fill it in with cushions and that gives you your bed space. Uh, what you will notice right under here, you can see electrical outlet. So if you have to plug, again, anything in, whether it's a laptop or tablet, need to do some work, you can do that right there. And also, this is pretty cool too. Nice, easy storage. You can see that right there. Take a look at how big that is. That is absolutely huge. And so that way, it's nice and easy to get into uh, you know, either side. They both open up, which is uh, very nice. When you move right over here, this is kind of a hutch. Uh, again, good extra storage. You'll see the fluted glass on all three on the top right here. Nice long poles, give it a great look. And this is pretty neat. This whole wall right here is kind of a feature wall, has a nice rustic look to it. Um, you know, I've seen this in a couple different units that Sabre has done, and I, I think it definitely adds a lot to the camper. Now this side right here, you do notice you have some coat hooks up there, so if you need to hang a sweatshirt or jacket, you have a place to do it right there. A couple of electrical outlets right above the shelf. So if you want to put, you know, uh, something over here to plug in, you can certainly do that. Right underneath, a little bit of additional storage right above your fuse box there. Cut out here and a fireplace. And the fireplace is great because, you know, not only does that look really nice, it also is a space heater. And that, of course, runs off electric. So, you know, if it's uh, not too cold out, you can just turn that guy on. It'll do a good job of warming this space up and it will save you on your propane. But all right, folks, that wraps up the bottom half. Let's head up the steps. We'll take a look at the bathroom and bedroom. As we take a look at the bathroom, you will notice that there's a big wall slide right here that extends into the bedroom. Uh, but as we open this up, this is basically your linen closet, more or less dedicated to the bathroom itself because there's a door here that separates your bathroom and bedroom. So great linen closet storage. One of the coolest features though is this right here. It's what they call the clear view mirrored medicine cabinet. You'll see it's a nice big mirror, also has backlighting on there. Uh, just a lot of storage here too. It's nice and deep. So that's pretty cool there. Uh, again, you have your seamless countertops, nice big bowl for your sink top and vanity there additional storage underneath you will see that is quite large as well uh, now as you come up and around you will notice right over here is your neo angle shower um, this is great too because it has the roller doors here so all your water just stays right down in the pan it doesn't get all over your floor when you open and shut the doors of course you have your shelving there as well as the hand wand and a skylight and then right over here next to it is the foot flush lever toilet so we make our way into the bedroom of the 27 BHD. One of the really cool features Sabre has done is they give you the Versa bed. This is a power bed sleep system. It's really cool because as you can see, it comes up on this angle right here. So if you wanna sit up and read a book or maybe you know, you're know you not feeling well, you just wanna sleep up on an angle or maybe you sleep that way now at home. It's nice and comfortable. You can go ahead and control that with the switch right above the bed. Also, there is additional storage underneath the queen bed so you can still access that, which is pretty cool. You'll see reading lights there on both sides as well. Uh, you can either do the blue or the reading light there, so either one you want has the capability to do both. Right behind me here, you will notice you have four drawers, which is great, full extension drawers there, and you also have big wardrobe space. You can see that right here. I'm gonna just open that guy up so you have two doors there, hanging space going all the way across. Uh, both sides of the bed, you have a little shelf area. Also, you have an electrical outlet and dual USB port. So if you need to plug in any electronic devices at night, you have the capability to do that. 
Lastly, you will notice right up here is a spot for a TV. So if you're one that likes to watch TV before bed, you can go ahead and have that installed there. But all right, folks, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Sabre 27 BHD. This is a great bunk model. I think the relaunch of Sabre, they've done a, really, a lot of really great things. They have some excellent amenities in here. You know, it has a great look to it. The accent wall is pretty phenomenal. You have USB ports throughout. That heated massage uh, theater seating is absolutely to die for. This is definitely something you want to come out and take a look at. If you are interested and you'd like price and availability, you can either give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this walkthrough, be sure to join our YouTube channel. That way you'll be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.